Okay, today we're going to do section 3.7. In section 3.7, give me just one second to get a better angle on it. We can do that. Okay, because I wanted to include problem number seven in there. Section 3.7 is all about the measures of the interior and exterior angles of polygons. So sometimes we're talking about normal polygons and sometimes we're talking about special regular polygons. So when they are talking about normal polygons, then it doesn't matter whether or not it's regular, and they don't have to say that it's regular. When they're talking about regular polygons, they got to use the word regular. You have to use the word regular when you're talking about regular polygons. Okay, so here are the two big takeaways from this section, sort of. The first one is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon, whether it's regular or not, has with n number of sides. I know you had the n gon problem in the last section. So we've either already talked about what an n gon is, which means you don't know how many sides it is. They're just telling you it has n number of sides. Or, sorry. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides is this. This lovely formula right here is something you're going to want to memorize. Keeps you from having to do it all the time. Plus, if you memorize the formula when I ask you what it'll be for an n gon, then you'll know. It's better than having to memorize all these numbers that we're going to come up with down here. Okay, and then the sum of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, doesn't matter whether it's regular or not. No, it doesn't matter whether it's regular or not. Is always going to be 360. It does matter that you only have one angle per each vertex. When we did the triangle section, I showed you how you get an exterior angle by extending a line out, but I showed you two exterior angles per thing. And there are technically two exterior angles per vertex, no matter how many sides of the polygon you have. Each of them have two exterior angles. But when we're talking about the sum of the angles, you're not allowed to count both of those in that. You're only going to count one for each vertex. So that's why we put that in there. And it's always 360 because the degrees of a circle are 360. And once you go around the outside of all that polygon, you end up with 360 every time because that's how many degrees are in a circle. So that being said, that leads us to filling in this chart down here, which is a chart that I'm hoping will make your homework and classwork a lot easier because we went to the trouble of filling it in. So they want to know what the sum of the interior angles are for a three-sided polygon. We have three-sided polygons of triangles. We already know that some of the interior angles of a triangle are 180. Didn't have to do any work for that one. I knew it already. However, if you wanted to, you could say three minus two is one, one times 180 is 180. Then in order to find one interior angle, if it were regular, you have to divide that by the number of angles. So 180 divided by 3 is how we get our 60 degrees. And then for one exterior angle, you could either subtract this from 180 because it forms a linear pair to get the 120, or you could add up the other two sides, because that's what it is for triangles, that won't work all the time though. Or you could divide this by the number of sides, because that's also the number of angles. So 360 divided by 3 gives you 120. Moving on to number 4, because we want to make this quick, simple, and easy. The sum of the interior angles, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 times 180 is 360. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, you're going to want to have that memorized too. One interior angle of a regular quadrilateral is 90 degrees, because the regular quadrilateral is a square. 
And then what exterior angle must be 90 degrees. 360 divided by 4 is 90, plus 90 and 90 makes it 180. It happens that way every single time. Isn't it cool? The next one is my green. So for 5, 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 is a bigger number. I can add. 0, 14, carry the 1, 540. 540 degrees for one interior angle divided by 5 is 108 degrees. Obviously, I didn't have this one memorized, which means you must not need to memorize it. And then that means that my exterior angle is going to have to be 72 degrees. Four, six. Six minus two is four times 180 is. Seven hundred and twenty. Divided by six gives you. One twenty. Sort of got it memorized. And then the exterior angle must be 60 degrees. Looks like it's the opposite of a triangle. That's kind of cool. Wonder if this one's going to be the opposite of something we got going on up there. Seven minus two is five. Five times 180. Starting to need a calculator now. Nine hundred because this was four plus one hundred eighty nine hundred. Think so. Divided by seven. Good night. That's a big number. A hundred and two hundred divided by seven is almost thirty. So 20 and then 60 divided by 7, almost 9, 28, and then 40 divided by 7 is almost 6. So we'll say it rounds up to 6. Something close to that, do it on your calculator. We're just trying to make it simpler for some of the other stuff we get coming on after this. And then the exterior angle is 360 divided by seven, which I'm going to do this way because I think it'll be faster. Seven goes into 360, goes into 36 five times, and then, 10 one time with three left over. Seven goes into 30, uh, two, four times. Woo, I did good the other way too, huh? Oh, that's impressiveness right there. You don't have to be impressed. I'm impressing myself. That's the way it happens. Okay, so. This is information that is good for you to know. Some of this is information that is good for you to have memorized. Others of it is information that is good to have written down somewhere so that you can do your homework a lot faster. So let's talk about the homework and the classwork. You ready? So for the, I'm looking on page 117 and 118. Yeah, I know. Why didn't I pause it so that you could you know, get a break and all? So I need you to do problems. Oh, here. Hold that.
Okay, this is what we're doing. Ta-da! Yeah, I know you can't read it. It's all right. I'm gonna put it up here. So it's coming from page 117 and 118 because you like it when I tell you that. Practice exercises. The classwork is going to be 5, 9, and 17. And then the homework is going to be 7, 11, 19, and 31. Have no idea yet what your review is going to be. Have no idea yet what your um, test is going to look like. Got to work that out. But I will get it to your mom when she gets all the other stuff that came with this section, with this chapter. So she should have that ready for you tomorrow. Not tomorrow, day after tomorrow, or, you know, when you get back from classical conversations. Um, she should have that ready for you so that it should go just peachy keen. So make sure you study, make sure you memorize the things I told you to memorize. Most of it I think you probably already knew, but you probably need to look back over before you jump on the test. Have a great day.